thought you're crazy. It's bad enough the dog is dead and you're nuts. So finally they made him go to his room without any supper. Oh, Miguel was so freaked out. He double locked his door. He put a chair there. And he got a baseball bat from out of the closet. And he, he laid on the bed with the bat. In case the little Santa came around. Well, there he was laying in the bed. He fell asleep. And in the middle of the night, huh, he heard big footsteps. He woke up. He heard a loud knock at his door this time. He said, oh, he got his bat. He crept up to the door. He said, who is it? And, the, and a voice on the side of the door, it sounded like his sister said, she said, oh, Miguel, go quick. Oh, my God, the little Santa, it's hurting me and Mommy. Open the door. He said, oh, my God, sis. He pulled the chair out of the way, opened the door. Ah! He stopped because it wasn't his sister staying there. He looked down, and it was little Santa. <laughs> and he was talking like his sister, and he had a little knife in his hand. And he said, oh. Miguel, help, help me, please, oh my god. He said, you little dummy, you believe anything, you're so stupid. He took the knife, he threw it at Miguel. Miguel ducked, oh, the knife went over his head. He said, you're going down, little Santa. He took the, the bat and he swung at little Santa. Bam, he missed. Little Santa ran up on the wall. Bam, he smashed a, a big hunk of the wall out trying to hit him. He chased him down the hall, swinging the bat, trying to smash him. He couldn't hit him, he was too quick. He smashed out a briefcase, he smashed out a bookcase. He finally cornered him, he said, you're going to die, little Santa. Don't do it, boy, don't do it. Oh. He lifted up the bat. And that's when the lights came on. And his dad said, what are you doing? He said, it's little Santa. Ah, ah. His dad took the bat away. He said, what are you doing? It's evil. His dad said, come here, boy. He took him downstairs. He called an ambulance. They came and got little Miguel. And they took him down to the hospital to have his head examined because he was crazy. Well, they kept him all night. They did a brain scan. They did a blood test. His dad said, I'll come back in the morning. It's Christmas. I want him to be back with his family on Christmas Day. They said, no problem. We'll keep him. Well, Miguel stayed all night, and in the morning, they finally took him down to the lobby. They said, your dad will be here to pick you up. He said, Merry Christmas. Sure. Okay. I'll wait here. He waited in the lobby an hour. <laughs> but his dad didn't come. <laughs> he waited another hour. <laughs> Still no dad. He finally said, man, I'm out of here. So finally Miguel got his stuff. He walked out of the hospital. He walked all the way home. When he got home, he opened the door. And he looked inside. <gasps> he couldn't believe it. That, that little ugly Christmas tree his family had bought. There it was in the living room. And it had little decorations all around that his mommy had made. Little cookies. They had made little tinfoil balls. It looked beautiful. And underneath the tree was a bunch of gifts. He said, oh my god, they actually got some money for some gifts. He ran up and there was a, a, a gift for him, a package. And it said, to Miguel, open right away. <gasps> he pulled off the wrapper. <gasps> it was a PlayStation 2. He said, oh my God, it's a PlayStation 2. Oh, how cool. He opened it up. <laughs> he screamed. Because inside it wasn't a PlayStation 2. Inside was his mother's eyes, his father's tongue, and his sister's heart. <laughs> he threw it on the ground. He said, oh. And right then he heard a voice behind him saying, Rudolph the Red News being dear. He turned around, and there was little Santa holding a little axe just like this. And he sat there dancing, going, <laughs> Rudolph the Red News being dear. <laughs> How do you like Christmas, good boy? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Miguel said, Ah! He ran out of the house as fast as he could. He ran, he got the police. They came back, and they found his family all chopped up in the back of the house. Well, they looked everywhere. They didn't find anybody. He started telling the police, it was a little Santa. This little Santa dog. He talks to people. He kills people. Please believe me. You've got to find it. The police grabbed him. They took him back to the hospital and they checked him into the psych ward for crazy little boys. Well, he was screaming and yelling, so they put him in a straitjacket. He said, no, it's a little Santa. You don't understand. It's this little doll. It talks. You put it string and it pees in your juice and it kills people. You don't understand. And they taped his mouth shut because they got tired of listening to him babble. Well, he sat there going, <laughs> they put him in a room with another little crazy boy who saw UFOs. And he said, hey, they think I'm crazy too. <laughs> they don't know the aliens are coming. And Miguel said, <laughs> he said, see, you understand me. <laughs> well, they sat there together in the room and all of a sudden one of the nurses came in and she said, Miguel, I'm so sorry about what happened to your family. We heard. And me and the other nurses, we felt so bad. We went out and got your little gift. And she reached behind her back and she took out a, a box and she put it down to Miguel. She opened it up for him and inside was a PlayStation 2. And he went, <laughs> she said, I know it doesn't make up for losing your family, but 
it's something. And the other little crazy boy who saw UFOs said, Oh, it's great, Miguel. Oh, aren't you lucky? She said, Oh, we didn't forget you. We got you a gift, too. He said, Really? What'd you get me, Miss Nurse? She said, Oh, here. And she took out a package and gave it to the other crazy boy. He opened it up. His eyes lit up like little stars. He said, Oh, my God. He said, Look, Miguel. He reached in the bag and he pulled it out. It was a little Santa doll with a little string. And Miguel went, <laughs> He said, Isn't it great? And Miguel went, <laughs> The little boy pulled the string and the little Santa went, Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll see you later tonight, Miguel. Well, <laughs> the next morning they found those two little boys alone in their rooms. Their throats were cut, their eyes were poked out, and their tongues were chopped off. And they found a little pair of bloody footprints leading out of the medical center. Well, I don't know what happened to little Santa, but I do know this. Maybe he'll come to your house tonight and wish you a Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> 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 You're making me sick. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.